never a hoarder or anything and he wasn't really materialistic at all. But whatever he had, he shared it with his companions no matter how little he had. And if Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day so if you guys want us to react to something you can give us a link in the in the comment section below be it a link or a title and we'll actually uh look into it and do it uh other than reactions we've got a second youtube channel called funny and 2.0 you can head there check out our um weekend vlo vlogs or weekly vlogs whatever you want to call it and just enjoy the content that we're putting out there we also have a podcast called Diving In with Fanny and Jesse, and we've got some very, very great conversations up there. So you guys can head there, um, just listen to them. We also have a Patreon account uh, called Fanny and Jesse. You guys can feel free to become members on social media. You can find us on Instagram, Fanny and Jesse, uh, Facebook, Fanny and Jesse as well, and you can just reach us or something. Thank you for telling us where you're from. We appreciate and um, keep telling us where you're coming from. A big shout out to everyone that's been subscribed, been suggesting, interacting with us, uh, just being positive under our videos. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. You guys are the best. So today, as you can tell from the title, I'll be reacting to part two of 10 Surprising Habits of Prophet Muhammad from this FTD channel. I love the content, Lyra, and this and the channel put out and it's just interesting so without wasting time let's get into the video as i mentioned in part one muslims hold in high regard as well as get benefits from the various habits of the prophet muhammad and so many of you wanted me to do part two for this episode so here it is 10 more surprising habits of the prophet muhammad how's it going everybody what's happening my name is leroy kenton and welcome back to another ftd facts episode now let's just jump right into it i want to start off with the habit at number 10 and that is sadaka so sadaka means to give gifts and it's also a legal charitable giving but for that legal charitable giving the word zakat is used now zakat is called a sadaka because it's also a kind of compulsory charity it's an obligatory sadaqa while the ordinary sadaqa is strictly voluntary but you see the Prophet Muhammad also performed sadaqa he would regularly feed the poor and said he is not a Muslim whose stomach is full while his neighbor goes hungry he also had a habit of helping orphans as well as caring for widows praying was also a habit of the Prophet Muhammad there are many prayers that were personally said by the Prophet and he uttered many prayers throughout his lifetime Time for various different reasons. Now for Muslims, it is said that a prayer is more likely to be accepted if it starts with greetings to the Prophet. So of course, Muslims are encouraged to continue this habit and pray. Next up, we have being trustworthy at number eight. The Prophet Muhammad was involved in trade since he was a young adult. And then after that, he shortly gained the title of Al-Amin, meaning the trustworthy. Then he was hired by a businesswoman named Khadija and he was recommended to her by his uncle Abu Talib. Now there's one quote that says, if you had requested this for the sake of a loathed stranger, I would have agreed. How can I refuse when it is for an honorable acquaintance? And this is what she said to his uncle Abu Talib because she was well aware of the Prophet Muhammad's reputation of being trustworthy. So do what you tell others that you're gonna do that establishes trust, definitely a great habit to have. Smiling is also a huge habit. Abdullah ibn Harith said, I've never come across a person who smiled as much as a Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad regarded smiling to a brother as an act of charity. So yeah, we know smiling, it's like a magnet. And in most cases, the more you smile, the more people are just going to be drawn to you. People don't want to be looking at frowns. Sure, you can frown, but if you're frowning all the time, people are going to be like, okay, 
I'm staying away from that one. The habit at number six is giving things away. So this is similar to number 10, but one of the habits of the Prophet Muhammad was that he liked to give things away. The Prophet Muhammad was never a hoarder or anything, and he wasn't really materialistic at all. But whatever he had, he shared it with his companions, no matter how little he had. And if anyone brought him a gift of food, let's say for example, while he was with a companion, he would always share it. All right guys, so we reached halfway in this episode, but before we get into the final five habits of the Prophet Muhammad, just a reminder to leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far. Also liking our videos helps more and more and more people see it. Also, if this is your first time here to FTD Facts, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Some of you have seen our videos before and if you're thinking about it, just Go ahead and do it, hang out a while. We post episodes daily and you'll get to continue learning about the different countries, cultures, people, and religions. All right, so continuing now with the habits of the Prophet Muhammad, at number five, he had a habit of giving attention to everyone. According to Muslim tradition, regardless of the age, the background, the color of the person, the Prophet Muhammad greeted everybody and made them feel as if they really, really, really were important and that they mattered. So when talking about the character of the Prophet, a lot of scholars would start using words and describe him saying that whenever the Prophet was talking to somebody, he would literally turn his whole body towards that person to show that they had his full attention. So this is definitely a habit that Muslims are encouraged to emulate in their own life. Self-reflection is a habit at number four. Now it is known that the Prophet Muhammad used to retreat to the cave of Hira to seclude himself and therefore meditate, reflect on things. The habit of self-reflection helps in contemplating one's purpose in life as well as it helps to reconnect with who we really are. So it's encouraged that every single Muslim takes time out to do some self-reflection, just like the Prophet Muhammad took time for himself ever so often to just get his mind refocused. Dental hygiene comes in at number three. Three. Now, the Prophet Muhammad used to always brush his teeth using what is called a miswak, which is a teeth cleaning twig. Now, in the traditions of the Prophet Muhammad, it was recorded that he said this, and I quote, Make a regular practice of miswak, for verily it is the purification for the mouth and a means of pleasure of the Lord. So yeah, he recommended the entire hygiene of the whole mouth, teeth and gums included, your tongue as well, um, all through brushing your teeth and washing out your mouth with water at least three times throughout the day. Having good mental health is the next habit that we're gonna look at. The Prophet Muhammad taught his followers to have a peaceful mind through really just accepting life changes pretty much. So he warned them to not be consumed by anxiety, depression, or anger. Even one statement found in the Hadith says this, a man said to the Prophet, give me advice. The Prophet said, do not get angry. The man asked repeatedly and the Prophet Muhammad answered each time, do not get angry. In other Hadith, which by the way are the traditions of the Prophet Muhammad, he said this, the powerful man is not the one who can wrestle, but the powerful man is the one who can control himself at the time of anger. Modern health studies have shown that anger can raise your chance of getting a stroke as well as it weakens your immune system. So it's a really good habit just to, yes, feel the emotion of anger, but don't be super consumed by it. Anger can lead to a whole lot of other things that can really impact our mental health negatively. And finally, a very surprising habit of the Prophet Muhammad at number one was sleeping on the right side. This is referred to as Vamkushi, and in the Islamic tradition, sleeping on the right side, especially in the early stages of sleep, is very recommended according to the Prophet Muhammad. Now, it is stated in the Hadith that the Prophet Muhammad used to put his right hand under his cheek when he wanted to go to sleep. Now, it's said that modern scientific studies have also shown that there's a lot of benefits in sleeping on the right right side, especially benefits for your heart. All right, guys, so that is it for part two of 10 surprising habits of the Prophet Muhammad. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Definitely, there's a whole lot more information out there, a whole lot of different other habits as well. So let me know down below in the comment section if you'd like to see more episodes like this. Also, let me know if you have any other requests for other topics that you want to see here on FTD Facts. My social media links are below in the video description section. So of course, you can go ahead, follow me over there. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and learning with me in this episode. 
I can't wait to see you next time. And by the way, I'll leave you with a recommended episode. You can tap the annotation that's going to be at the end screen. So you can do that right now because I'm going to get out of here and I'll see you guys real soon. Very interesting fact. I mean, that's self explanatory, so it doesn't need that much talking from me. Otherwise, um, the charity one, I think we should all partake in that. Um, I didn't know there was a the one you can volunteer for and the one that's mandatory to participate in, but whichever one you can afford to be part of, be part of, be part of. I mean, all these things, I think we can we ourselves can make our habits as well otherwise what's not there to like about muhammad everything just seems uh, very very lovable and let me know if you practice any of these habits uh thank you to the person that suggested this you're the best and thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and thank you very much uh make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.